Last week we talked about technical debt and a somewhat related topic of scope creep is what we'll be talking about today. So what it is, why it exists, the awful impact it has on you as a developer, and some of the real world consequences of how it just will make your life uh, utterly awful at times. Um, but it is worth mentioning just because it is such a, a rampant problem in development. Are you thinking about creeping into a coding boot camp? Is a coding boot camp in your scope? Might I recommend Dev Mountain Coding Boot Camp? They have four separate locations. Provo, Utah. I've actually seen that campus in person. It's absolutely beautiful. The houses that comes with tuition for free is within walking distance. And then, of course, Dallas, Texas, Salt Lake City, and Phoenix, Arizona. Check them out at devmountain.com. All right, so I definitely didn't paint a very good picture of scope creep. That's because it's not a good thing. Uh, it is a bad thing. Um, scope creep is when somewhere in the process, requirements are not gathered properly, um, uh, bad communication happens, and essentially new features need to be built that weren't part of the original project, right? Um, there's a lot of problems with this. For one, typically um, you'll start hearing this just keyword uh, in development, and I never really noticed it till a uh, developer coworker of mine mentioned it to me. Where can't we just do this? Can't we just add this? Can't we just, just, just? So start. You'll start hearing the, that just word, and uh, sometimes that's scope creep when they just want you to build new features. The problem with that is. Uh, a lot of times it's when the project's supposed to be due, well, we assumed we had this, right? So assumptions were made, bad communication. Um, so now you have to build these new projects, which require developers to work longer hours and more hours, which is not something I want or I think is an acceptable thing to do. Uh, I believe in, uh, you've heard me talk about in the past, about game day, showing up every once every couple months when you need to put extra hours in, but that's pretty much it. It's supposed to be the uh, the outlier, not the norm, right? So scope creep creates that, creates the longer hours. Um, a lot. So what is it caused by? Well, you really have to understand the point of, of sort of the roles on your team. So um, every workplace will be different. But uh, when you work, once you get to maybe a larger company, you're gonna have uh, maybe dedicated teams or you're gonna have a software team in general. You're gonna be working with a lot of different people. Um, you're not just going to be working with developers. You might also have a, a QA, someone who does you know quality assurance for your projects. And then you're also going to have um, a business analyst, someone whose job is to go and gather those requirements. So whose job is to go and and uh, make sure that we are delivering what the business needs and go and get those features, go and get the scope of the project um, at uh, at a very early level. And then you have the project manager, whose job it really is to make sure that we're on track to deliver what it is we need, as well as communicate to the stakeholders, communicate to the product owner, whoever it may be, um, what it is that we're building, where we're at, um, if we're gonna make our deadline, all that sort of stuff. So that's once the reason I set that up is, and by the way, the project manager and business analyst, sometimes those roles will overlap, sometimes there'll be one role. Um, they tend to be uh, a role in which there is some overlap. So we're saying, okay, well, wh why did you say all that, Dylan? Well, scope creep happens um, because as a developer, most of the time you aren't um, getting, you aren't going and getting your own requirements. You're just building what you're told to build. You can have questions, ask questions, go from there, but someone that's someone else's job. So it's usually up to the project manager, up to the BA to go and get those things. And they can only do so much, really. I look at the, the project manager and the BA as a wall, right? This is the wall between you and the people who want you to get something done a week ago. Um, part of a PM and BA's role is to get yelled at, as far as I'm concerned. It is their role to get yelled at so that the developers don't get yelled at um, and quit, right? Because <laughs> you're gonna get another job tomorrow as a developer, right? Um, 
That I you, some of you maybe think I'm joking, but I actually think this is part a partial reality. So, um, one of the reasons I stress, stress communication is in every role you need good communication. Scope creep happens partially because there's bad communication, and um, even even as a developer, you can help protect yourself against scope creep, where you say, "Hey, I, I see these requirements for this project." There are three things that I'm almost positive the company is going to want and that are pretty much standard for any rollout. Can you please go back to them, suggest these items, see if they want that? Because I, I just see this being you know a week before we deliver the project. Go you know, So they're that wall, they're that buffer to go in and most of the time get the requirements. But as a developer, you also have the ability to protect yourself against scope creep to a degree, right? Uh, we can only do so much. But... Um, it's a it's a very interesting world where sometimes you can even make those suggestions and say no we don't want it and then three months later yo we were thinking about it we know this is supposed to go out on monday but can we just get this feature in there can we just get it um and it's a it's a it's an awful part of of development and it's it's somewhat related to technical debt right so technical debt is often it's created for a lot of reasons. Um, bad developers. It's created for um, projects being rushed, um, and scope creep leads to projects being rushed because it's oftentimes, hey, we want this new stuff, but we don't have enough time for you to actually build it uh, because we want to delay our deadline or whatever it is. Um, so, can you add it in? And or it's not so much a question. Uh, it is add this in. Period or exclamation definitely not a question mark <laughs> add this in and um in order to make those deadlines at times you got to cut corners a little bit and write spaghetti code sometimes um not because you want to i i my my hope is that no developer wants to write spaghetti code but because uh in order to do what is needed um good code takes a good amount of time bad code takes a little amount of time right um even if it works so you you get put in these situations with um, technical debt. You, you scope creep cr helps create technical debt rather, uh, where now you get the feature done, but you've also um, contaminated the code. You've made it harder to read. You you have made it so, so you've maybe implemented it in a way that's not dynamic, where maybe we're gonna have to repeat our logic somewhere. So you have these situations that happen quite frequently, um, and they're 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 directly correlated. But scope creep is an unfortunate thing that I, I don't know how um, how we don't have it. Uh, I don't know how as a, as a developer um, to eliminate it completely. I know that you as a developer can have good communication. You can look at a project and say, look, they're going to want this. Please go back. Um, but you can only push so hard. Also, I, I, I don't have a good answer on how to eliminate it completely um, I would like to live in a world in which you have developers be business analysts and project managers but the 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 harsh reality is that will never happen there are some companies that will hire PMs and BAs to be uh, who are former developers and they pay quite well for those because they know they're getting developers to do it and there's a lot of benefit that go with it um, when you've architected projects and you've written code um, and you've built out features and you have experience doing all this sort of stuff, in my opinion, you're much more valuable than a, a project manager or a BA who hasn't because you can you can give realistic uh, expectations and you can gather requirements from a developer standpoint as well as communicate to the developers how that happens. Um, but that is, that's a fantasy realm. That's very rare <laughs> uh, that that's going to be the norm. Partially because they're, they, they're having such a hard time filling developer roles, um, for senior developer roles. I know a bunch of juniors, that's just, uh, you know, aspiring to give me a job, tell me they're having a hard time. Um, it's very hard to find experienced developers is what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't have a good answer for how to solve scope creep other than better communication, perhaps 
I and I, I don't even know if a developer would do a better job. I would like to think so. Um, I've had to gather requirements before as a technology trainer, which was kind of a BA sort of role, uh, mixed with a PM, mixed with a technical. Uh, it was a, it was one of those roles where I did a lot, but I never felt like gathering requirements was that hard. Um, it might have been just because I I was a developer. That's not to, to disrespect anyone who's a BA or anything like that. Um, I understand everyone's job has parts that are here or there um, that are, you know, you can't really know everyone's struggle in their job until you've worked their job. Um, but in my experience, I never I never had any issues with scope creep. But then again, I was only doing it for nine months. Um, but yeah, so that's a little bit about scope creep. It's really just uh, an issue where you got to build features last minute because um, someone who's above you says you have to. Uh, bad communication can lead to it. Um, bad gathering of requirements. And really the only things you can do to push back or maybe communicate better. Um, ask for the features that you think they're going to want and need and go from there. What are your guys' suggestions on how to solve scope creep? I'd love to know. I don't have any great ones. It's a, it's a rampant problem. Um, scope creep is one of those things where you talk about, well, how can we fix this? And, and you talk about it and nothing ever changes. <laughs> and um, nothing ever gets different. Because um, all, all the business a lot of times cares about is they got it done. All right, I got my feature. I don't give a shit if they had to work extra hours. Because um, that's business. That's, that's, that's corporate America. Um, so uh, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I'd love for you to share them with me as well as everyone else. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, support me on Patreon, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. Bye. Remember, guys, scope creep is bad. But creeping on your girlfriend? Hey, girl. How you doing? <laughs> it's okay. Quick thank to our sponsor, deviceplus.com. If you guys are interested in Arduino and the Internet of Things, such as Raspberry Pis, might I recommend checking them out, deviceplus.com. If you click the link in the top corner, it will take you to a really cool thing. It's an intro beginner level tutorial of how to build a tripwire using Arduino. Check it out.